Hello and welcome to the Agri-Food and Biosciences Institute. My name is Lisa Black and today we're at Aspie Cross and Creedy for the first of our virtual variety tour visits in collaboration with CAFRI. The trials we're going to be looking at are funded by the AHDB and are part of the UK uh, recommended list trialling system and all the data that we generate from the trials in Cross and Creedy and Linvadi go towards the UK database um, to produce the recommended list booklet, which is available online. Um, the HDB have also recently launched um, the variety selection tool, which is also available online as so definitely worth a look. What we're going to be looking at today is winter barley specifically, and um, we have 34 varieties, 13 of which are two rows. We also have several six rows, um, and uh, six of these are hybrids. And there are eight candidates of which we will have a look at a, a couple of those that are forthcoming and available probably for the next growing seasons. We'll be focusing on disease resistance and also straw strength um, with a view to more sustainable production going forward. And we're going to be looking at the varieties that are uh, most relevant to Northern Ireland, some of the current ones that are recommended and some ones going forward as well. Kelly Ruth Cassie is the first two row variety we're going to be looking at, and this is the first range recommended 10 years ago in 2010. Its current treated yield is 97% of controls, which is 7% behind the highest yield in two row feed varieties. Its untreated yield is 81%, and it does have the highest specific weight of all varieties in trial, sitting at 71.2 kilograms per hectolitre. So this variety, whilst its yield has dropped somewhat compared to newer varieties, it is still valued because it has consistent high grain quality. It can be susceptible to mildew and uh, rhynchosporium, and quite often cassia will exhibit um, comparatively high levels of disease in untreated plots, as you can see here. S5 Entry is one of three two-row malting varieties that are recommended on the HDB list. And as these are grown for quality rather than yield, they're generally not um, popular in Northern Ireland. The yield for venture is in fact only 92% for the UK as a whole, um, with an untreated yield of 67%. Kyrgios Tower has been around for a few years now and is currently uh, sitting at 99% of treated controls in treated trials. It's 2% higher yielding than Cassia, but 5% lower yielding than the new variety Kyrgios Hawking and LG Mountain. Untreated yields are 73%, so quite a high drop between untreated and treated. Um, so this is a higher risk variety, and this is mainly down to its less than ideal disease resistance profile. It has a 5 for mildew, um, a 6 for rhynchosporium, and a 4 for net blotch. In terms of specific weight, Tara has a specific weight of 67.4, so that's well short of Cassia's, which is 71.2. Kidiwis Orwell was first recommended in 2016, and its current treated yield is 102%, so it's only 2% behind the highest yielding varieties on the AHDB winter barley recommended list. Untreated yields are 80%, so it's reasonably good. Specific weight is 67.9, so it's still falling well short of Cassia's specific weight of 71.2. In terms of disease resistance, it's very susceptible to mildew. Um, Rhynchosporin resistance is a 6, which is the average. So whilst it has good yield, um, it can be hit by disease and its specific weight could be higher. Kraft is a two-row malting variety and is grown for specific end use requirements. And in terms of a two-row feed, it doesn't really meet the mark for, for yields. It's treated yields of 96% on treated yields of 77 Surge was first recommended in 2016, another two-row feed variety with short straw and high specific weight. Um, it performs best in the east and west regions and, and it gives good yields in untreated UK trials as well. So it has good overall disease resistance. In fact, its untreated yield is 8-7% of controls, which is actually one of the highest on the list. 
terms of treated yield, it's treated yield is 101% of controls, which is only 3% behind the very highest yielding varieties, um, which are, as I said previously, Hawking and Mountain. Cadibus Cresswell was first listed in 2017. Its treated yield is 100% of treated controls, with an untreated yield of 72%, so quite a large drop between treated and untreated yields. Its disease profile is a 5 for mildew. For Rhinchosporium, it's a 6, which is average, and a 4 for net blotch. Um, in terms of its specific weight, Cresswell is 68.0, which is over 3 kilograms per hectolitre behind KDRS Cassia. Electrum is the third of the two-row malting varieties, and like the other two, its yields tend to be lower than those of the two-row um, feed varieties. 97% treated yield, with a low 79% for untreated yields. Valerie is a two-row feed variety that was first recommended in 2019. Its treated yield is 101% of controls, and untreated is 86%, so relatively low yield penalty between treated and untreated um, crops there. It has a good disease uh, profile and it also has good specific weight. Caderus gimlet is a high yielding two row feed variety. It's relatively tall and performs particularly well in the east of England on heavier soils. It doesn't have any major weaknesses in disease resistance and its treated yields are 103% with good untreated yields of 83%. Specific weight sits at 68.3. LG Flynn is another two-row feed variety that was first recommended in, in 2019. This variety's treated yields are 102, untreated 82. It has good specific weight at 70.2, and its disease resistance profile is, is relatively good, although it has a 4 for um, mildew. LG Mountain is a high-yielding two-row feed variety. It's relatively short-strawed and has formed particularly well in east and north regions. It actually has the highest yield of all uh, varieties in trial at the moment, sharing the top spot with KWS Hawking, and was first recommended last year. Untreated yields are 83%, and in terms of its specific weight, LG Mountain has a specific weight of 69.1%. So definitely a variety to um, have a try with and see how um, it performs for you. KWS Hawking is a new addition to the AHDB recommended list for 2020. It shares a top, stop, top spot um, on the list with LG Mountain with a treated yield of 104 and untreated yields of 83. Its specific weight is 68.5, which could be better, and compared with uh, LG Mountain at 69.1, and Cassia at 71.2, it is a bit on the low side. Its disease resistance shows no weaknesses, but no real strength either. But at the same time, it shows good potential for uh, performing well on heavier soils. Jordan is a new recommendation on the 2020 HDB winter barley recommended list. It's high yielding, 103% treated but also very high yield in untreated at 89%. Specific weight is 68.9, and it has good disease resistance as well. And as a variety, it has real potential for Northern Ireland due to its good performance um, in untreated situations. So a low-risk variety with no real weaknesses and relatively good um, specific weight. The next few plots are candidate varieties, which we have limited information on. Some of them we have no information at all. Um, most of them are potential feed varieties, and they sh some of them show real potential in terms of treated yield, as well as having very good untreated as well. Uh, we look forward to seeing how these perform in uh, forthcoming years. Funky is the only six row in our current um, trial uh, that is not a hybrid. Um, and Funky has uh, relatively good yields um, with short stiff, stiff straw, and it tends to have good specific weight, but does give higher screenings. 
In terms of yield, it's 104 treated with 89 untreated, and the six rows and the six row hybrids typically have very good untreated yields with better disease resistance, and Funky is no exception. Looking at its disease resistance profile, it has an 8 for brown rust, a 7 for rhincosporium, and a 5 for mildew and net blotch. So a good variety um, with high yields and uh, relatively easy to look after too. Bazooka is the first of our six row hybrids that we're going to be looking at. Um, it came along the same time as Belfry and both have been recommended since 2016. This variety yields 106% of treated controls with an untreated yield of 87%. So typical of the six rows and the hybrids that they do um, exhibit very good untreated yields. In terms of specific weight, it's good, it's 68.9, and more recently, in the last few years, the, the hybrids and six rows have had better specific weight compared to in the past. So it's a good option for anyone looking for an early yielding, um, high performing variety. Belfry came along with Bazooka um, and was recommended in 2016 too. Um, it has a treated yield of 106, same as uh, Bazooka. Its untreated yield, however, is better, 91% compared with 87. So that's a really, really good untreated yield there. So Belfry is a good option for anyone who wants to maybe look at um, having a more sustainable approach to cropping. In terms of specific weight, it's 68.2. So that's reasonable, very good for a, a six-row hybrid. And its uh, disease profile is good as well. Libra is another six-row hybrid that was first recommended in 2018. Treated yield of 103, untreated yield of 83. So um, its yields actually aren't significantly higher than those of the two-row feeds. However, um, it does have good specific weight of 70.8 um, and a 7 for, for standing power. Belmont is currently the highest yielding six row hybrid variety with 108 of treated controls. However, its untreated yield is 77, so that's quite a big drop from treated to untreated, so a high risk variety in terms of um, yield penalty due to disease. Um, it has a five for mildew, a four for brown rust, and only a six for wrinkle and net blotch, so you would expect better disease resistance from a six row hybrid. In terms of specific weight, it's 68.5. So if we compare that to 71.2 for Cassia, it's a good bit below that. But nevertheless, it's reasonable for a six-row hybrid in terms of specific weight. Next up is SY Kings Barn. This was first re recommended in 2019. It shares the top spot in terms of treated yield with Belmont and Barracuda at 100 native treated controls. Its untreated yield is very good at 88%, and it has a um, better specific weight than Belmont, 69.8 compared with 68.5 for Belmont. SY Barracuda is a third six-row hybrid, which has a treated yield of 108. Um, the other two are Kings Barn and Belmont. It also shares an untreated yield of 88% with SY Kings Barn. The specific weight is 68.8, so one kilogram per hectolitre lower than that of King's Barn. There are currently three uh, six-row hybrid candidates um, in trial, which we have very limited information on, other than to say that obviously they are showing good potential in terms of um, treated yields, but we need to watch how they develop in terms of uh, trials going forward. Just to summarise then, we have a lot of varieties in trial. Um, some of them really aren't uh, applicable to Northern Ireland, for example, the two-row multi varieties, which have very low yields. The two-row feed varieties, there's some um, exciting new varieties coming along. In terms of highest yielding, there is Cabrus Hawking and Mountain. But I think one of the best varieties for Northern Ireland is Jordan. It's got good treated yield of 103, but very good untreated yield of 89. Um, if you're going for specific weight, Valerie could be a good choice with a specific weight of 70.2. Um, and Caterus Cassia offers the highest specific weight of all varieties in trial at 71.2. In terms of the hybrids, um, they all yield reasonably well. Um, 
Libra is a little on the low side, but it does have a good specific weight if you were after something with high quality and um, an early harvest. Of the others, um, probably SY King's Barn is looking very promising. It's got good treated and untreated yields, and it also has a good specific weight. Um, straw strength for all of them is reasonable, and um, so there's plenty to choose from in terms of the hybrids. In terms of six rows, we only have Funky, but again, it's a, it's a good variety with an eight for straw strength, good treated yields, good untreated yields, and a specific weight of 68.9. So plenty to choose from and plenty of new varieties coming through. Okay, folks, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the first attempt we had at a virtual varieties evening. Um, I would just like to thank Afi and Lisa Black in particular for hosting us here for the virtual varieties walk and also particular thanks to HDB who continue to fund the, the trials here within Northern Ireland. Um, it's always good to see the varieties tested under local conditions so hopefully you find it beneficial. Don't forget the online resources from HDB as well, the variety selection tool and the recommended list app which is now available for download if you want to have any further details on the varieties. Okay, thank you. Keep safe.